All right. Um, so today I tried to get online trading working in the data emulators newest update 1.7, which is currently only available for patrons. And in this video, I want to show you guys uh, what I did. Um, first off, I'm fully resetting all uh, network settings. Um, for this, um, I just test the current connection. So um, the Nintendo uh, generates an ID and then I, or it generates a config and then I delete this config. So we see now when we go into options and erase the Nintendo config, just to be 100% uh, clean slate. The guys from Delta also um, say you should do this the first time. Okay, then the game restarts on both clients and we enter our network, network uh, configuration. Um, for this, we use the online guide, which is provided on the Delta homepage. Um, a link, this will be in the description, of course. And yeah, we look for a new access point after erasing the config and then we use the Melon AP. And now to the interesting part, we uh, enter a custom DNS address uh, on the home page. The team of Delta recommends three DNS servers currently. I'm using the first one and also secondary DNS. Right, safety configuration, and just to be 100% uh, sure, I also test the connection here. And the connection is successful, so we are ready to go. And on leaving this menu, the game restarts again, and this time we enter into our prepared safe. And um, to be able to do this, you have to defeat the first gym leader. Um, before that, you won't have access to the area inside the Pokemon Center we're using in the uh, yeah, downstairs floor. Okay, now we uh, want to use the Wi-Fi club. Uh, of course, the game first wants to save, and then it will uh, generate uh, a player code that we will have to share. So we enter here, we hit yes two times, and establish the Wi-Fi connection. We get disconnected. This is all uh, standard behavior. But now inside our bag, we have the pal pad. And if we want to use it, we see our friend code. So we have two codes and we have to input these code codes into each other's clients. So that's what's happening now. iPhone 11 and iPhone 14. And then they enter their Active codes. Okay, Hit yes, here, and then we double check. Okay, our friend code is in there, so we can start the process. We speak to the woman again, and this time. Uh, we enter the multiplayer up. Okay, in this first try, I have both my phones on the same local Wi Fi.
and we will see nothing happens. Both clients have those eight fields in the bottom. You see here local Wi-Fi. And now I switch it off. One of the clients I switch to mobile data and the other phone stays in Wi-Fi mode. Every time you change the internet connection, you have to disconnect again. It seems to be no auto reconnect or it doesn't uh, uh, yeah, work like that. You have to go out, save again and enter a new. I also do this in parallel on the second device, but I forgot to record this part. And we go in again, connect again. This time, like I said, one device is in mobile data, cellular data, and one device is inside wireless LAN. And now we can see, okay, my I see already my uh, iPhone 11 partner. Now I disconnect it again because my corresponding uh, mobile phone couldn't see me. And now it's reconnecting again. And then in a second, we will have both videos up. And yeah, here we see the reconnect from the second device. And now the devices can see each other. Okay, now I speak with the computer what I would want to do. I want to trade. And now the other client is just speaking to the NPC and the communication gets established. All right, and then I'm in the normal trade menu. Like I said, the black phone is using cellular data. The pink one is using Wi-Fi. And the trade works flawlessly. And we're done here. If this works for you right from the start, this is uh, nice. For me, this didn't work because my uh, router needed some extra configuration. Um, I will show you how it looked first on my side. The two iPhones saw each other, they recognized each other. But then when I wanted to establish a connection, I got an error. And uh, very nice guy from the Delta Discord uh, pointed me in the right direction what this error code actually means. And it basically means that the connection is blocked by the internet service provider or by my router. So we also have to yeah, unblock this inside the unblock this inside the router settings. And so I opened up my browser and went into my router and under security port activation, I implemented a rule for the iPhone that was still inside the wireless network, not the one that is using cellular device, cellular connection. And uh, yeah, like Nintendo was saying, I opened up all UDP ports that were possible between 1024 and 65,535. And after this, it worked flawlessly. Um, also on a side note, this is the iPhone that was receiving the connection. So the cellular was uh, starting it and then this was the actually the guy who got the connection. I'm not sure if this is relevant, but um, yeah, just in case you run into similar issues, this could maybe be the reason. Also, if you try this and it works or it doesn't work, please uh, leave some feedback. I'm by no means an expert on uh, this. I just uh, spent some time trying to figure this out with uh, help from a user from the Delta Discord called real underscore Lizify. And um, yeah, if you have uh, any any more clue what's going on here, why this needs port forwarding or how one uh, could maybe do it without it or why it's not working 
if I use two cellular connections, I also tried this, but it didn't work. This was the only way I got the trade or the connection uh, to work. Then please uh, leave a comment or contact me so uh, we can figure this out together.